the leg. Now Mason needing a big score. 140 plus. Okay, that's a little bit too high to be what you call a great guide. 60. No, of all the times you want to go off big. Chris needed to this time and he hasn't. He has really given this leg to Van Gerwen without much of a fight. 96. Well, Mason has done really well to come from two sets down. And now he has to dig deep again and find some big numbers if he wants to stay in the US Open. A young man standing just behind him with a determined look on his face and it's let him down. It's let him down and it hasn't just happened for Mason in this big, big leg for him. 57. Only 57 from Van Gerwen. Frustration for him too. And uh, it's all about pressure and nerves, isn't it? So much on this leg. Yep. There's two types of pressure. The pressure you can handle and the pressure you dish out. 94. Pick, uh, Chris picks off treble 18, but he needed to hit trebles early on in this leg. Van Lovely Gerwen. Bat. Another treble here would really hurt. Sensible dance, sensible dance for Van Gerwen, leaving himself 128 for the match. Now Mason has to, to come back here, 140. Well, any treble now, any treble would do. 58. Yeah, he needed a treble 20 with him, first two darts. Van Gerwen now, 128, hit the 54, he'll stay there. Well, he's going to be back, is he? I see I yeah, Mason Chris now 170 to stay in the match. Van Gerwen tops. And Van Gerwen will be back for a place in the fourth round of the US Why Open. Mighty Mike, they call him the Dutch teenage sensation. Double 10 has been kind to him all night. And it Ken is again shot. of Michael Van Gerwen. Brilliant Michael Van Gerwen players. Mason averaging 97, Van Gerwen averaging 96. But it's Michael Van Gerwen who goes through to the last 32 of the PVC US Open here in Connecticut. He beats Chris Mason in a cracker 3-1. Welcome back to the PDC US Open. The tournament really is in flow now. We've seen a surprise defeat already as Colin Lloyd fell at the first hurdle, whereas Phil Taylor secured his place in the next round with ease. Uh, and last time it was teenage superstar Michael Van Gerwen and Chris Mason with the clutch and triumph. And here he is. Hello, Michael. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm very well, thank you. Great game. Okay, I mean, you've had huge success with such a young player. You're 18, aren't you? Yeah, just three weeks. You're a mere child. How does it feel to be playing against all these, you know, dark legends? Yeah, I'm uh, playing now for my uh, 13, 14 till now, mm -hmm. and uh, from the beginning I am Miguel, uh, he's a good friend of me, and mm -hmm. yeah, from the beginning we uh, know all the guys, so it's not, uh, uh, it's not new for me. Is it, I mean, is it intimidating you come up against somebody like Phil Taylor or, you know, these, these many times? Yeah, the time first time uh, when I first played them, then uh, you are nervous and mm -hmm. something like that, but now I'm not anymore. You don't look it, I have to say. No. Cool as a cucumber. You really enjoyed that game, didn't you, Tony? It was your favourite so match. far. Yeah. Best match of the day so far. And in honesty, I think you've got to give credit to Chris Mason because his performance really put you to the fore, didn't it? Yeah, he was... Uh, I played very well on the beginning. Yeah, I missed a little bit uh, on his doubles. And I I, uh, I take them. But after that, he uh, was thrown very well and uh, hit everything, so I need to uh, play better to win. Well, the thing is, you, you are tipped as the youngest prospect, best prospect in the world. And everyone's saying you have a great chance of winning this this year. Wow. Lot to live up to, Michael. Are I, you up to it? Yeah, I hope. I have uh, one or two uh, PDC tournaments in Holland on the uh, 
uh, floor tournaments, not uh, television tournaments. I hope I'm going to win a PDC uh, television tournament, of course. Okay, well, we shall wait and see. Thanks very much for joining us. Right.